Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about Everything's Fine, the collaborative album between Jean Grey and Quelt Chris, two underground rappers that are married and apparently their styles complement each other fairly well as is seen on this album. And Quelt Chris you may know from his project last year that came out, um, Being You is great, uh, I wish I could be you more often, an album that I thought was pretty decent, but both have a number of albums in their catalogs that I personally have not gotten around to checking out. But I decided to check this thing out just due to the wide amount of acclaim it's gotten recently, and I'm glad that I did because I think it's a pretty solid project. Production-wise, we're looking at some very woozy, kind of twisted, loose left field beats, and lyrically we're looking at kind of this cross between a satirical humor and very serious social issues such as police brutality and the oppression that people of color face living in this country in this day and age. And it delves deeper into what it's like to kind of put on a facade for people and act like everything in your life is pristine when so many people are suffering at the same time as each other and we all just kind of pretend collectively that we're doing just fine. And it communicates us in a very creative, well spoken kind of cynical way like if we just look at the intro track where we're in a game show and all the contestants have completely shitty situations in their lives at the time being but they all have to say everything's fine and an interlude like everything's still fine kind of pokes fun at the type of person that says oh I don't read the news because it doesn't affect me or it's so depressing I don't want to like acknowledge the state of things and the world is pretty shitty right now and uh, how that's bullshit and you can't just ignore what's going on right in front of your face and also doing better than ever kind of pokes fun at the fact that some people say like oh if you're alive you should be grateful like at least your internal organs are functioning even though everything going on in your life is total trash right now. Or when people say, oh, there's never been a better time to be alive than right now is kind of an excuse not to keep thinking about how we can make societal improvements. So yeah, I love this album's interludes. I think they tie together the overall theme of this album and what you should take away from it extremely well. And my contribution to the scam is another obvious standout track. It kind of raises this question of like, what are you really doing to help the greater state of the world in your current life right now. And it kind of pokes fun at people who pretend to know more about hip-hop culture than they do and the greater social issues that it attacks. And I love the dirty beat on this track with like the grimy bass and the percussion and the fuzzy synths. And Ocean House Call are a little more conceptually unclear, which I think unfortunately kind of takes away from their impact, but they are kind of clever and kind of playful songs. And Hannibal's verse on Osh is just fucking amazing. I can't decide if it's like terrible or incredible. It's like it's so ridiculous that it's hilarious and I love it. It's definitely a standout moment whether they uh, intended it to be or not. And on Osh, I love kind of the strange sampling and the little wailing synths flowing around in the background and the heavy bass. And on House Call, the instrumental kind of reminds me of something off like Doggy Style or even like The Chronic, like one of those classic G-Funk um, albums. It's definitely more toned down, but it definitely feels like it takes influence from that style of music. And Gold Purple Orange, lyrically, is another track that definitely stands out with the overall theme of the album and follows it a little bit more closely than these two tracks do. Lyrically, the track is kind of about how people throw around labels thinking that they can explain a person just by saying, oh, you're the bookworm girl with the frizzy hair and the brains or whatever, like Jean when she was growing up. But really, people are far too complex to just fit into a stereotype like that. And both Peacock and Breakfast with Champions are kind of more somber and some of the most serious tracks on the album both kind of take this stance of being just exhausted with how minorities are treated in this country. Both are very subtle and subdued and I love the somber swirling production on a track like Peacock as well as on Breakfast of Champions in the hook where they kind of do a twist on the Tribe Called Quest hook on the chase part 2 that goes it's bound to wreck your body or straight burn your body out instead of I'm bound to wreck your body and say turn the party out. I really appreciate your old Drew's verse on Scoop of Dirt as well. I mean, it makes it look really humble that the entire thing is basically just him calling himself out, and it definitely has a very warped and woozy beat that's one of the more infectious sonic parts of the album. And the intro part to Zero kind of intrigued me. 
Um, I don't know if my interpretation is like exactly right, um, like completely accurate to what it's actually about. But the whole thing about fear conditioning kind of made me think that it was like the oppressed relationship to their oppressor and how like they're in protective mode. And Waiting for the Moon reminded me of a very specific song that I couldn't put my finger on for so long that I finally got it. And it's the last track on AT Aliens, 13th Floor, Growing Old. I think it's mostly like the hook with Anna Wise's vocal and the pianos, so it sounds like extremely similar. Anyway, both of these two tracks are definitely very mellow compared to the rest of the albums that they were placed on and definitely more serious. And Jean's last verse on Waiting for the Moon is I personally think her best verse on the entire album. River has some of the most intricate production of the entire album. There are flutes and strings and pianos and guitars worked in very subtly to just this dazzling beat. Overall, I think my only problem with this album really is the fact that tracks like Ocean, House Call are kind of hard to follow conceptually and there are a few moments that I think could have been pushed a little bit further, whether that be sonically or lyrically, but overall I really enjoy the intention behind this album album and everything that it brings up conceptually and yeah I think it's pretty solid so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a seven and a half. Thank you for watching this review, please subscribe, all of that, and yeah I appreciate you and I hope you have a great Wednesday or whatever day it is that I'm getting this out.